The number of claims just reinforces how much of an impact the collapse has had, not just on these families, but companies both in and outside of Baltimore, all over the world. The construction company that hired those workers has filed a claim. So have several local and international businesses, some of which are part of a class action claim, as well as companies that had cargo on board the ship. And most of those claims are pushing the same argument that we just heard from the governor and the attorney general, that Dolly was not seaworthy when it left port, and that that liability cap should not be allowed because the ship was operated in a reckless manner.